guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christy and I am a third year homeschooling mom to five kids. And today I am going to be talking all about the math that saved my year. Okay, that might be a little over dramatic, but Saxon math, it has completely transformed math for my oldest and I am going to take you through on a flip through of Math 5-4 and this is also a collaboration with my dear friend Kristen from My Cathedral Garden and the exciting thing about this collaboration is that she is using Math 3 as well as Math 6-5 so between the both of us and both of our videos we are covering the first three years of sex and math for you so stay tuned. Yeah, you're taking me home. Like I said, Saxon is a new to us math curriculum this year. Um, after a couple of years of searching for just that right fit for my oldest who tends to struggle a little bit in math, Saxon with its just black and white to the pointness <laughs> has just been a godsend for us and I am just really excited to flip through this math curriculum for you guys today as well as share with you a resource that has helped me in so many ways with teaching math. If you hear a bunch of running around outside the door that would be my three-year-old. Um, yeah. <laughs> There she goes, just making her laps. I'm gonna share with you guys Nicole the Math Lady, which is an amazing website, resource, whatever you wanna call it, to teach math and also to grade math if you are in a time crunch. This is not a sponsored video, we just really love it. So let me turn this uh, camera around and I will go ahead and flip through Saxon Math 5-4 for you guys. All right, you guys, um, I bought the set of Saxon Math 5-4, and I believe I bought these from christianbook.com, but you can pretty much find these anywhere that they sell homeschooling curriculum. So I got the solutions manual, I have the tests and worksheets, and then here is the actual textbook. It is soft cover, um, and <laughs> as you can see, my daughter has been doodling on the end of it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and open up the actual textbook. And so here's the table of contents here. And like this suggests, I believe that this is um, good for grades 5 and 4. But obviously in homeschooling, your child can test higher than this. They could test lower than this. And that is not a big deal at all. So I would suggest doing the placement tests before choosing any level. But I knew that my daughter was... At the level 5-4, she's kind of more of a 4th grade level at 5th grade, and that is totally, totally okay. She just needs a little bit extra help in math, and I've just found that this incredibly right-to-the-point math curriculum is just perfect for her. She, there's no frills to it whatsoever. It's just exactly what we needed. So, table of contents. There are... Um, 120 lessons but in between there's also different little investigations and also tests um, every so often so so it just talks about uh, the Saxon philosophy the components of this math curriculum so you've got the textbook here We've got tests and worksheets, so you can find all the tests and worksheets in this one right here. And then the solutions manual, and this helps making grading a cinch. I have not really used the solutions manual too much yet, but we're still kind of on the easier side of things, so we'll, we'll see. Um, so the program overview is right here. So each lesson is divided into four sections. There's the warm up the con new concept that is being taught, lesson practice, and then mixed practice. So the mixed practice is going to be a set of problems that kind of use a spiral approach where you are reviewing on concepts that you've learned in previous lessons. And I will show you like an actual lesson here. So the warm up takes about 10 to 15 minutes. You'll be uh, working on uh, like maybe a speed drill, maybe some mental math. To be quite honest, we don't usually do the warm up. Um, I usually give her like speed drills or flashcards or things of that nature um, outside of our math time. I like to kind of break up math for her a little bit so it's not so overwhelming and frustrating. And then the new concepts take about five to 15 minutes for most lessons. And I 
use Nicole the Math Lady to teach our math lessons, which I will show you guys later on in this video. I will get on the website and actually show you what um, an actual lesson looks like. And then there's lesson practice. So there will be practice questions for the new concept that is taught that takes about five to 10 minutes. And then the mixed practice takes about 20 to 40 minutes. And I will get to this later. Um, this seems like a lot, but um, I will tell you what we do just to kind of make it a little bit easier on her. In addition to the lessons in this book, there will be investigations. So every 10th lesson is an investigation. Investigations are in-depth treatments of concepts that often involve activities. Because of the length of investigations, no warm-up or mixed practice is included. As with lessons, investigations might call for students to use activity sheets, which can be found in the tests and worksheets booklet. And then we've got the tests. And my daughter actually gets excited when there's a test, which I, I don't know why, but she just really enjoys the tests for some reason. I think she just likes that. It touches on every single thing that she has learned so far and she likes to show me that um, she is actually understanding the concepts and she's excited about it. So somehow, in some way, Saxon has made my daughter actually get excited about math, which is like, it's just a miracle. It's a miracle for me to get excited about math because I am not naturally math minded at all. So that's that. <laughs> Okay, so here's like the list of materials and it's really not that big of a deal. Just the usual calendar, yardstick calculator, um, maybe a dollar bill, maybe some coins, you know, the usual for uh, math manipulatives. So here's what a typical lesson looks like. So as you can see, there is the warm up right there and it kind of goes over some mental math, some patterns, and then here is the new concept that is being taught. So just like the good and the beautiful math um, that I use for my other two homeschool kids, it goes over a, um, there is an actual written lesson here, but we use video lessons. So it is kind of the same concept as the good and the beautiful math, just without any of the extra frills, the pretty pictures, the colors, the extras in the videos that kind of can maybe distract a kid that isn't very math minded from the actual concept. Um, this is just very black and white. So it gives some examples of the new concept. And then there will be lesson practice. So this will all just go along with that new concept that is being taught. And then here is the mixed practice. So this um, usually has about 26, 27 problems. I think it might be more about 30 as you get later in the book. What I was having her do is just do the even numbers. So I'll have her do all the even numbers. And if I like kind of look through and there's something I want to touch more on if I think she needs more practice with. I'll have her do that number in addition to the even numbers, but for the most part, she touches on every single thing she has learned with just even doing the even numbers. So it makes it a lot easier and a lot less daunting than saying, okay, do all these 26 problems. And then that is that. That is a lesson. That is a typical lesson for us. And I will show you two... An investigation so this is an investigation so this one is all about number lines so it's basically just going more in depth with math concepts that just take a little bit more time to develop um, and then there will be some practice problems with it but no actual math set of problems like as in a lesson let's talk about Additional topics and supplemental practice. So this is at the end of the textbook. So we've got topic A, using money manipulatives to represent a small place value. Topic B, topic C, topic D. And then here are some like just supplemental um, practice. So if you think your child needs a little bit more practice with something, there are some problems that are found in the back of the book depending on the lesson. And then of course you've got a glossary back here and the index and that is the textbook. So let's move on to tests and worksheets. So in this book, you will find all of the worksheets that go along with, um, with lessons or investigations. So here's like some math facts practice. Here's some $1 bills. This one goes along with lesson four, lesson four. So it'll tell you right underneath what lesson it goes along with. 
you don't need a worksheet for every single lesson. So, like I said, we've barely used uh, this for like warm up practice or anything like that. Um, if you need like grid paper, I just photocopy whatever I need out of here. So, I made it kind of a non consumable book for us. All right, so let's go to these activity sheets, practice tests, activity sheets. Okay, here is what a typical test looks like. So it's just one sheet of about 20, 20 problems or so, and it touches on everything that the child has learned um, throughout the lesson. So this kind of goes over what tests to give when. So like test one, is going to cover materials through lesson five and you're supposed to give it after lesson 10. Test two covers material through lesson 10 and you're supposed to give after lesson 15. So that tells you when to give each test and like I said before, I just photocopy this and give her the test and she is doing great with them. She is really comprehending what she has learned and I'm just so proud of her. This this uh, curriculum has really just done wonders for our homeschool. And here in the back, like you can record like the times that they took uh, for doing like their math facts. If you're doing speed drills, things like that, we just do kind of our own thing with that. So, um, but that, that's the tests and worksheet book. And then here's the solution manual. And this is just giving all the answers for the warm up questions and um, the practice questions and also the mixed practice. So if you're looking for any of the solutions, you will find them in this workbook. So those are the three components of Saxon Math 5-4. And I will now talk more about Nicole the Math Lady. Okay, I am on Nicole the Math Lady's website right now. And as you can see, I am logged into my daughter Kaylin's uh, profile, and she is a part of the group Saxon Math 5-4, which is the level that she's in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And here you have um, the course, you have any of the materials. So we have cheat sheets here, we have correlations for earlier editions, textbook uh, corrections and down here you can either enter the lesson that they're on or you can uh, select it from the list down below. So Kaylin is currently on lesson I would say 38. Press go and as you could see we have the lesson content right here so we always have a lesson video here where Nicole herself teaches and I will go ahead and play that just to kind of give you an idea All right. and so here's Nicole So here is Nicole and she teaches with this whiteboard behind her and so she just lays out exactly what is in that lesson and then they always have a fun corny brain break next where they have just cheesy jokes and everything. Kaylin and my all my kids really enjoy this part of it. <laughs> and then here Nicole will go through the practice problems of the lesson with your child. So yes, that is exactly what I needed from this service. I just needed somebody to teach the lessons, do some practice problems with her, and then um, I could kind of fill in wherever maybe Kaylin isn't exactly getting a concept. I could go ahead and help her outside of that. But after Kaylin watches all of these videos and does the practice set of lesson or the practice uh, set within that lesson, then she moves on to her actual work. And I just have her, like I said before, I have her do the even numbers out of her lesson. And then I check that and I go over anything she may have missed or anything she didn't get from um, that set of questions. So I want to, I'm just going to backtrack here. I'm going to go ahead and click on the home screen so you just get an idea of um, all of the services that Nicole, the math lady, um, provides on her 
on her website. I just signed up for doing the math videos, but you can also do the online grading. There's also Nicole's study hall, drill team. And so out of all of this, you can go ahead and do a free trial. Um, and I believe the free trial goes for a week, I think. But you can choose any level of Saxon that your child might be in. They have the Saxon Math Homeschool, but they also have um, like the Algebra, uh, Geometry, Advanced Mathematics. I mean, she has all levels of Saxon Math here, all um, of the different kinds of Saxon Math right here. And I did the basics. So as you could see, for the service that you get for having the videos and everything, the cheat sheets, the student clubs, the private Facebook community support, I paid about $59 just for the entire year. To me, that was incredibly worth it. But you could go ahead and go plus and you can get the online grading as well. That might save you even more time if you are, um, if time is one of the valuable assets in your homeschool that you're looking for, the plus membership might be for you. And then there's premium, which has all of that, but then also has the class chat, one minute tutorials and the master classes. And that's at $99 for the year. So either one that you choose, it's to me is a very, very affordable and very worth it. Um, but like I said, we are just doing the basic because all I needed out of this year was just somebody to be able to teach the lessons so that I could um, focus on my second grader and have enough of me to go around, especially with having two toddlers in the house. So that is Nicole the Math Lady, and she has been an amazing asset to uh, our math time. I cannot stress how much I love Nicole the Math Lady and how valuable this website has been to us. So there you have it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the flip through and me going through Nicole the Math Lady with you. I have found that any resource on YouTube that has to do with math is very valuable. I know myself, I have scoured countless math YouTube videos or homeschoolers trying to find that right fit. And so, like I said before, Saxon is very straight to the point, no fluff, no frills. It is just open, go, get the math done, and it sticks. So this is what we have found works the best for our struggling learner with math. I'm so, so happy that we took the plunge with Saxon. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new here from Kristen's video or from elsewhere, hi. I hope that you'll stick around. I hope you'll click that subscribe button. I don't know why I just said button like that, but I hope that you'll stick around regardless. Um, I do a lot of homeschooling videos here on my channel. I share about motherhood. And I just take you guys along for the journey, the good, the bad, all of it. I try to be as authentic as I can in sharing with you guys on here so that you're not so alone. It doesn't feel so lonely being on this journey together. I, I don't I don't know why I'm speaking in accents all of a sudden. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new here. Click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Check out Kristen at My Cathedral Garden. I feel like kids are destroying things outside the door right now. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs> you look so beautiful And I'm so lucky to be yours